Hi, penguins and dolphins. How are you? I'm sitting in my chair. Molly calls this Tony's chair. I let her sit here too, though. But I like to sit here. Um, hey, we've been learning so much about insects. We've done writing about insects. We've read stories about insects. We've made little insect projects. We did counting pages with insects. There are so many different kinds of insects. Well, my little entomologists, I think I should read you some new stories about different insects. Today I have three books. One about flies, one about grasshoppers, and one about beetles. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's learn some fly facts. I bet you've seen a fly before. Maybe even one landed on you. Shoo fly. This book is titled Flies. The author is Melvin and Gilda Berger. Flies. Title page, Flies by Melvin and Gilda Berger. Flies are insects with two wings. Put that fact in your brain. Two wings. Flies are insects. They have six legs and three body parts. What body part are the wings connected to? The thorax. Flies have big compound eyes that are close together. Each eye is made up of many little eyes. Look here. Many little eyes. All those little dots are like little eyes so they can see up and to the side and down and everywhere. Why do flies need to see everywhere? Predators, you're right. Can you think of a predator that might want to eat a fly? Hmm, think of some. Tell them to your family. Do you think a spider would eat a fly? Yes. How about a lizard? Yes. Maybe a frog? Yes. What other predators can you think of? This is interesting. Flies taste with their feet. Flies taste with their feet. See the feet right here? Touching to taste that cheese. Flies suck up their food. Whoa, this here is not a, a leg. That's a proboscis, like a tongue. And look, it's sucking up the food. <laughs> Flies suck up their food through their proboscis. Interesting facts. Whoa. Flies have sticky parts on the bottom of their feet. These are the sticky pads on the bottom of their feet. Why do you think they need sticky feet? Huh. That way they can hold on to the window and they can climb up the wall and they can hang upside down with their sticky feet. Wow. Interesting. Flies like to feed on garbage and food. They can carry germs on their feet. Then they can put germs on your food. Ooh, flies can carry germs to your food. Germs that can make you sick. Shoo fly, shoo. Now, are you ready for the test? In the back of the book, they have some questions. This is the fly test to see if you remember the facts. Number one, 
How many wings do flies have? Who remembers? Two. Flies have two wings. Do flies chew their food? Yes or no? No, they don't chew their food. How do flies eat? With their proboscis, they suck the food up. Um, how does a fly walk on the wall and walk upside down? You remember that fact? Sticky pads on their feet. How can a fly make you sick? What can it get on its feet? Germs. Then it can land on your food. And then when you eat the food, germs might go in your mouth. So if you see flies around, shoo them away. Don't let them land on your food. Fly. Our next insect book will be grasshoppers. Have you ever seen a real grasshopper? Hmm. Yeah, sometimes they're outside my house uh, in the field. I might see a grasshopper out there. Yeah, let's learn all the facts we can about grasshoppers. The title, grasshoppers. Title page, grasshoppers. The author is Emily Green. She wrote this book. Grasshoppers are insects. Grasshoppers live everywhere on the earth except in really cold places. All grasshoppers have two antenna. They use their antennas to smell and feel. Some grasshoppers have long antennas. Whoa, those are super long. Look how long those antennas are. Some antenna, some grasshoppers have short antennas. Look at how short those ones are. A locust is a kind of grasshopper that has short antenna. That's a locust. Yeah, they have kind of short antenna. All grasshoppers have six legs. Their back legs are very strong. Look at these big strong legs here. Grasshoppers use their back legs to jump. Whoa. Look at how long their back legs are when they jump. Most grasshoppers have four wings. Their front wings are straight and thick. Grasshoppers use their back legs, their back wings to fly. Oh, so they have four wings. The front ones are hard and straight and the back ones they use to fly. Whoa, they can jump and fly. Interesting. Most grasshoppers chirp. Grasshoppers use their wings to chirp. How do they do that? They rub their wings together or they rub one leg and one wing together to make a chirping sound. Did you ever hear a grasshopper chirping? Sometimes if I go outside in my yard at night and I am very quiet, I can hear I can hear some grasshoppers in the trees and in the field by my home chirping. It's a cool sound. Grasshoppers can hear. They can hear. Hey, what do we use to hear? Our ears. Do you see any ears on this grasshopper? I don't see any ears. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see how they hear. Oh, listen to this. A grasshopper has ears on, a, on its legs or its abdomen. Ears on its legs and ears on its abdomen. Right by the spiracles are little 
holes that are ears. Wow, they can hear with their abdomen and their legs. That's very interesting. Grasshoppers eat grass and other plants. Grasshoppers eat grass and other plants. Grasshoppers use their strong jaws to chew. This is their jaws here. Sometimes many grasshoppers fly in a group. That's called a swarm. Say swarm. Yeah, that's a swarm of grasshoppers. A swarm of grasshoppers can eat all the plants in this field. What? All these grasshoppers can eat all those plants. Whoa. Whoa. That was a lot of facts about grasshoppers. Do you remember a fact? How many wings do they have? Four. What do grasshoppers eat? Popsicles? Yeah, they eat grass and plants with their strong jaws. Yeah. Hey, where are the ears on a grasshopper? On its legs and on its abdomen. That's a very interesting fact. Grasshoppers and flies are very interesting insects. And the last insect we're gonna learn about today is the beetle. I have a beetle book. Say beetles. Let's learn some facts about beetles. Whoa. Title page, Beetles, by Colleen Sexton. She's the author. Beetles are insects. Beetles have a hard outer body. Yeah, the outside of their body is hard. Beetles have antennas. Beetles use their antennas to smell and feel things. Whoa, look at this one. Look at how long it's antenna. Hey, do these beetles look the same? No, there's different kinds of beetles. They don't look the same. Beetles have strong jaws. These are the jaws. They use their strong jaws for eating and for carrying things and sometimes for fighting. Look at these stag beetles fighting. This one's picking up that one with its jaws. Whoa. Beetles have six legs. Because they're an insect. Some beetles have long, thin legs that they use for running, and they can run fast. Look at this beetle here running fast with its legs. Some beetles have short, strong legs that are good for digging. I think this beetle here lives in that hole. It's digging a hole like an ant. It's a beetle though. Hmm. Some beetles have claws or sticky feet that are good for climbing. Oh, look at these claws on their feet so they can climb up a tree. Hey, look at this picture. Some beetles have legs with paddles that are good for swimming. That is a swimming beetle. Well, look what it caught. It swam down and caught a fish. Some beetles can catch fish? Wow. Interesting. Beetles have two soft wings and two hard wings. Soft wings and hard wings. Many beetles can fly. They use their soft wings to fly. Hey, a ladybug is a beetle. It has four wings. It uses its soft wings to fly. Here's another kind of beetle flying with its soft wings. Beetles fold their hard wings over their soft barred body. Their hard wings protect their body. Oh yeah, they have the hard wings come down 
to protect the body from predators. Their hard wings meet together in a line down their body. Wow, look at this shiny beetle. Yeah, its wings are folded in tight, but it can open them if it wants to fly. Beetles come in many shapes and sizes. Whoa, look at this one first. Whoa, that looks giant. Look at these beetles. That this boy's holding on a stick. This giant longhorn beetle can grow longer than your hand. That's the longhorn. Because look, it has a long horn on it. It can be bigger than your hand. Look at that boy. Does he look scared? Uh-uh. I think those might be his pets. Longhorn beetles don't bite people. Look at him. He loves those longhorn beetles. He's an entomologist. Some beetles, oh, beetles come in many shapes. Look at that. Whoa. And they come in many colors. Many beetles blend in with their surroundings. That's called camouflage. Do you see the two beetles here? Their color is the same as the tree. Why do you think they want their color to be like a tree? Camouflage. If a bird comes to eat them, a bird might not see them because they look just like a tree. Yeah, that's called camouflage. There, the world has more beetles than any other kind of animal. There's more beetles than any other kind of animal on the earth. Look at all those beetles. Wow. Insects are amazing, wonderful, fascinating, interesting. What are some words you can think of for insects? Thank you for listening to Insects Today book stories with me about um, flies, grasshoppers, and beetles. I hope you have a lot of facts in your brain now about those kinds of insects. Bye, penguins and dolphins.